Sports have always been a part of J.T. Brooks' life. He started on the football and baseball team since he was a freshman. I'm to play sports in college, but I guess that's out of the picture now. All because of one freak accident during a scrimmage four months ago. I was one that made the tackle, uh, but we both talked and it was a contact sport and he promised that, you know, he doesn't hold anything against me and he don't, wants me to know that it's, it's not my fault and it was the way he landed. And when I got over to him to spot the ball, you know, he looked at me and told me he was paralyzed. And at that point, I thought maybe, you know, he was just stunned or something and said, JT, you're all right, get up. And he said, no, coach, I'm hurt. And at that point, that's when it all hit me and realized there was really something wrong. Since that day, Brooks has had one date in mind, getting back for the home opener. It's fun. It's awesome. <laughs> Loving it. And the moment is everything he imagined. Just like the old days. <laughs> just like last year. It just really felt good for him to be able to wrap his arms around me as I did him and be able to give me a hug. Big dog. What's up, Colin? Oh, man. And uh, I, know, I know within my heart that real soon he'll be walking again. It's crazy. It's like I don't think it's hit me yet, you know, so much shock. I mean, it's just amazing. I haven't been home in three months, and it's just I, I love it. I love it. I love this town. Brooks is ahead of schedule in his rehab. It's hard at night thinking about it and like can't even fathom it, but but I've just stayed with it. I've got up every day and wanted to go to therapy. But he will not be satisfied until he reaches his ultimate goal. The end goal is to walk always. You just got to keep that in your mind that you're going to walk, you're going to walk because it's not going to happen if you don't think that. But I'm just trying to get better with what I got right now.